Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over writing some pretty dang personalized emails using GPT-4. Now I haven't checked if you could do this with GPT-3.5, but let's get into it. I was using 4.0 and I wanted to try some crazy things. So basically what I attempted to do was to be able to automate writing an email where I would be able to give pers potential marketing advice to companies just based off of their LinkedIn company description. And after only testing things for about 30 minutes, the results are pretty dang good. And so I'm going to talk about the prompt at the beginning of this video, and then I'm going to go one by one into, we will go through all 15 of these results just to check out some of these results and talk about how I'd fix them in the prompts because I spent about 40 minutes on this, but uh, I'll definitely be spending more time in the future. So first, let's jump into the prompt that we used. And so I was conversing with ChatGPT. I was using model uh, number four. And I basically just set it up and said, hey, you're an assistant helping me come up with outbound marketing campaigns for companies. Nice and easy. Uh, then the user input was using the input, create three bullet points of creative outbound marketing ideas for a company. This is the input. And then I just put in uh, Apollo's uh, criteria in here. And then I said, be specific and give unique advice. Keep each bullet point around 15 words and use strategies that use outbound marketing. We could, of course, improve this. So then I was the assistant and I gave it some ideas. Target companies that have just added salespeople to the team and reach out to the VP of sales. Uh, target companies that mention Zoom Info or Cognizum or other competitors in their job descriptions. Target companies that are industries that typically require the need for outbound data. Super easy. To be honest, I kind of ran out of ideas for the third one. Um, maybe I should have had ChatGPT write it, but then we got this done. And then I went right into it with message number four. Automatically, I would improve this by giving it more examples of ways that we could help companies. But for this video, it definitely served the purpose. So then as the user, we said the same exact thing, but I used the LinkedIn company description as the input. So again, analyze who their target audience would be by job title and think of creative ways to market to them, be specific and give unique advice, all of those different things. So that's how we set up the prompt. Now, join me for the rest of the video where we go over each of the uh, pieces of content. So this one would be for Salesforce. And the ideas ChatGPT came up with for their outbound marketing campaigns is to target VPs of marketing in B2B firms, send them well-designed direct mail uh, series highlighting CRM success stories. Not a phenomenal, phenomenally creative idea, but if you were sending this cold to somebody, it would make them feel like you actually did some research possibly. Identify sales managers, collaborate with highly regarded podcast hosts for sponsored episodes showcasing CRM benefits. Uh, approach customer support managers, run targeted LinkedIn ads, sharing innovation through enhanced customer experiences using CRM. So all, not all of these would be possible through just regular like cold email outbound. I would have to change the prompting for that, but not bad. All right, so for Red Bull, target event planners offer co-branded Red Bull event kits to boost energy during conferences and corporate events. Approach sport. Uh, that's not bad. That's actually, you know, if you were to get that cold, that's a perfect idea for Red Bull. Approach sports coaches. Connect to provide Red Bull for team performance enhancement and sponsorship opportunities. Great. The better part about here is the targeting. That was pretty interesting. Reach out to club bar owners, promote Red Bull drink recipes, and customize drink promotions. Again, not bad. I actually like the Red Bull one better than the Salesforce one. All right, so this is for gong.io. Target CROs showcase how Gong improves cross-team collaboration and decision-making with data-driven insights. Engage sales managers, share success stories of sales coaching and performance improvements using Gong's platform. That's really interesting to, that it you know, brought that out, knowing that the performance improvements is the biggest reason why people buy Gong. Reach out to sales ops leaders, highlight Gong's ability to streamline revenue process through actionable customer insights. See, that's, I would, I would give, that's awesome. Okay, great. Outreach.io, launch a LinkedIn campaign targeting sales directors with personalized tips or case studies. That one's okay. Not great. Uh, email campaign targeting, uh, email campaign targeting VP of sales mentioning competitor success stories and unleash conference. They must have uh, put their conference in there. Partner with sales podcasts or webinars sponsoring exclusive tips for sales managers and team leads. Not bad. Not, not my favorite. Outreach was a little generic, but that one's totally fine. Test box. 
Target procurement managers send interactive product demos for faster decision making. Engage marketing directors showcase proven customer led buying results, boosting ad campaigns. Uh, approach product managers, offer product testing comparisons to impress investors and clients. Approach product. This one was okay. Um, not too thrilled with the results on this one. For example, target procurement managers send interactive product demos for faster decision making. I would improve the prompts to get a better understand to say to try to help it understand what the company does because the company creates product demos as a service kind of. It's not like they are sending product demos for people to then use Testbox. So something to be done around that. All right, so seamless AI. Use AI-generated sales pitch emails targeting sales managers or directors highlighting seamless AI's potential. Okay, host a webinar for sales executive focusing on AI's impact on lead generation and market share growth. That would definitely work. I see a lot of good results on that. Develop case studies focused ads for sales VPs showcasing seamless AI success stories and revenue growth. That's actually the ads that they legitimately run right now. Brandon is running ads literally like that. I see them all the time. Zoom.com, engage corporate HR and talent acquisition teams with personalized virtual event invites to showcase Zoom's recruitment solutions. Possibly, I didn't even know they had recruitment solutions. Reach out to managers overseeing remote teams, promoting Zoom at the as the ultimate communication and collaboration tool. Target event planners and coordinators showcasing Zoom's reliability for virtual events. Still not bad. Again, if this was coming through cold, you would think somebody wrote it. I think that that passes that bar. Maybe not that they aren't great ideas, but we can keep going. Kajabi, target life coaches and motivational speakers offering eBooks, webinars, or online courses. Again, this probably goes back to the test box one. We need a little bit of a prompting for it to understand better that this is the company and they do a specific thing because this is already, you know, if they don't want to offer eBooks and webinars and online courses about Kajabi. They want to teach life coaches and motivational speakers how they could be offering eBooks and webinars and online courses. Reach educators shifting to online courses, offering Kajabi's platform for seamless transition. Yep, that would be a good idea. Identify fitness and wellness professionals, marketing tools for creating workout or diet plans online. See, that's a great idea. There we go. Again, pretty good ideas. And if you use those in a cold email, somebody probably would have thought you actually wrote them. Ocean.io, offer webinars specifically for data analysts on improving prospecting with AI-powered lookalike searches. Okay, so this is interesting because they don't sell to data analysts, they sell to salespeople. So we got it a little wrong here and we'd have to fix the prompt. Target marketing managers using personalized email campaigns highlighting successful niche market case studies. That's, yep, that would work. Engage sales directors via LinkedIn by sharing industry-specific tips and content on hyper-targeted outbound strategies. Yep. Um, another way that I would probably fix this is we only gave it one piece of content for what I would say a successful message looks like. I think we could also fix, say, Ocean, uh, a little bit of Kajabi's, test box, outreaches. We could fix these by offering just more examples in the prompt. One password, offer webinars to IT managers promoting seamless integration with existing IAM solutions. Okay, email marketing campaign targeting HR professionals on improving employee onboarding experiences. Yep. Engage with CTOs on LinkedIn showcasing success stories in securing business data. This one was okay. Again, I'd probably give it some better examples and that would fix that. Um, help desk, offer personalized demos to IT managers by hosting webinars showcasing help desk's solutions. Okay. Reach CTOs using LinkedIn emails with compelling stats about help desk's longstanding industry impact. Interesting. Target customer support managers with cold email campaigns highlighting CRM customization options and success stories. Duh. Again, if you sent this off to help desk, they might say that these ideas are okay, but these ideas were definitely made for them. One signal, targeting marketing managers with personalized emails campaigns touting ease of use and omni-channel capabilities. That's true. Conduct LinkedIn outreach to product managers highlighting scalability and API integrations offered by One Signal. Great. Host an informative webinar for e-commerce site owners on how to boost engagement and conversions with one signal analytics. What I think is really interesting about this is it got these three awesome outputs of titles, right? Marketing managers, product managers, and e-commerce site owners, which is who they target, which is pretty interesting. Taplio, offer free LinkedIn content templates to HR managers for engaging potential recruits. That one's okay. That's not really what their platform is made for. 
uh, appeal to B2B sales representatives with tailored messaging campaigns to boost lead generation. That's true. Engage freelance social media managers with success stories to showcase growth through our services. See how it, it, it um, we don't want to say our services. It would have been your services. Again, we could probably fix this with prompting, but it would probably be better with more examples. Gymshark, target professional trainers and fitness coaches offering exclusive Gymshark discounts to recommend it to, it to clients. Yep, that's probably exactly what they do already. That's awesome. Reach out to influencers in the health and fitness niche, providing them with personalized Gymshark products to promote. They 100% do that. Connect with wellness-oriented HR professionals proposing Gymshark's workout gear for company health initiatives. That's a really good idea too. Uh, Brex, send personalized emails to CFOs and finance managers promoting tailored financial decision-making resources. Awesome. That's really good. Host exclusive webinars for HR professionals emphasizing employee financial empowerment benefits. Awesome. Target startups slash remote company CEOs with direct mail, including infographics on better financial decisions for distributed teams. So again, lots of things that we could fix here, but a lot of things that were really, really awesome. Uh, you know, for the most part, these would pass the test. Now, obviously these are ideas that these companies are probably already implementing. These are all top tier companies with great teams. But if you're reaching out to smaller companies who they might be thinking when they read these emails, they might be thinking, okay, they actually looked at my business, which is one of the main hurdles that we want to cross. And they're actually giving us ideas straight from the get-go, which, you know, a lot of these are, are very much in line with what companies would want to be doing. And maybe they don't have a person to implement it yet. I'm going to probably make another list of some people that I would want their opinion on if they were to get a cold email just with this straight up, or I might even make a small list and just send them this cold email and see how they react um, and see how well this play would really work because I think this is pretty interesting um, and we got to tease it out a little bit more. So keep following along and seeing how we use these. I'll be announcing the results of this on places like LinkedIn and Twitter. But very excited for what GPT-4 is bringing uh, for us. And actually, before anyone goes, I'm going to try to rerun the same thing in 3.5 and see if there's a huge difference. Okay, so to be honest, pretty great results here as well. This, uh, these, this text was generated with GPT-4. This checks, test was generated with GPT-3.5. Still pretty good. I mean... See how a lot of it is still online? And I'm not going to go through all these again, and maybe I'll open them up. So if you want to pause the video, you can kind of read some of these. Um, they're not bad. And it's much cheaper to run it on 3.5 than it is on 4. So, wow. Leverage Help Desk latest industry news section. <laughs> that's, that's really interesting. Okay, yeah, so... Um, Read through some of these on your own. You know, actually 3.5 might be able to ship this as well. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone.